looks pretty good. Yeah, Jen, this is hard to tell. Is this the $10,000 TV or is this the budget 98? I really can't tell. Well, at this price point, you really might have to consider. What's up? We've got our third 98 inch TV from TCL just this year. Yes, it is crazy. We didn't even know this one was coming out. Now there's the S5 with the other two. We have to determine if this is gonna be good for you for the price of only 3,000 bucks. So stick around to the end because I'll give buying advice, but let's open this box up. Let's get into it. So this is just a LED TV. It's not a QLED TV, but it is 120 Hertz refresh rate. So that's really good. Gaming features, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So I'm really excited to see if this is gonna be bright enough or if I'm gonna recommend sticking with something like the QM8. So really excited to unbox this and check it out. This is why you always have sharpened knives. Yeah, we need a new knife. Ugh. What's here? What we got? <laughs> you can't see. You're too short. Looks like we have the same feet as the uh, QM8. It looks about the same. So far, so good. And we have to mention, this TV is very heavy. So we got to see how much it weighs exactly compared to the QM8, but I felt like it was more. I don't know. Girthy. <laughs> Obviously, we got our little bag of uh, remote and cord and everything. Is it open on that end again? Yeah, there's tons of it. It does? Tons Gotta come over here? Too. Yeah. How was that for you? Super simple. <laughs> Pull it this way? Here we go. You gotta, you gotta have spaces to put boxes when you have this sort of job right here. Yeah. Taking this off? All right, got it. You taking the styrofoam off or am I? Who's I holding it. the TV? I got it. You got <laughs> Caesar whimpering? Yeah, he's crying. He says another big one. So it looks like we'll be able to take off the end styrofoam and then put the feet on like that and then bend at the knees, of course, and don't touch the screen. Let's do it. Let's take this stuff off. I'll take this. Why don't you get your not sharp knife out and cut those little tape strips off so we can open it Sounds up. That's good. Woo! Good work, Jen, good work. Thank you. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. We can take these ends off, but then someone has to watch the TV because it gets kind of like, you know, it's gonna tip over if you don't, so. Got my eyes on it. You want me to lift mine out first? Mm -hmm. Get a little lift, pull that out. All right, here, let me lift the TV up a little and then you can pull that one out. Go ahead, there you go. Now let's see. I don't trust yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> a little dangerous. Okay, now you wanna put the feet on or me? You're better at that. Let me, let me take it. I got the TV. Okay, then you're gonna hold it. Then I'll I need hold to it. undo this right here. Yeah. To get, oops, to get at them their feet. This TV feels an awful lot like the QM8. So, I mean, you know, you assume it's not quite as nice as that TV or why would they have two? One for, you know, 7,000 and one for 3,000. But honestly, this is pretty nice so far. The true test will be turning it on. I suppose. Looks like the feet are the same, so you could put either one on either side, but there is also this really great cord management that we saw before that I really like. Yeah, the QM8. Just like slide it up, no? Easier said than done. There it goes. All right. Which, that's how you'll access the holes. Do you need me to lift or anything? I don't know, nope. did I hold these or you know? Yeah. You pretty much just did it all your own, by yourself. I don't need y'all help. No, you really don't. All right, so we're ready to lift it. We gotta get it out of this awkward plastic because, you know, it's not good. Okay. Hey, it's gonna be a heavy one. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, see? Look at that. It's always trying to tip on us. All right, good job. Should we get this thing moving here? I think we gotta bring these suckers over. Contain your excitement. Oh, my excitement is uncontainable. All right, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. It wasn't too bad. Honestly, I think 
A lot of it was the box, but you know, it wasn't, it feels very similar to the QM8. Let's slide it your way a little. All right, there we go. Perfecto. Okay, Jen, are you ready to do this plastic? I am always ready to do the plastic. Okay, Jen, we got it. That was great. You're, you're obviously good at that. I've done it a few times. <laughs> Takes talent. I see in the reflection, it looks like it's not quite as good as the QM8. There's a little bit more anti-reflective coating on that one, although it's not terrible. So it's like it's in between, kind of like the R754. Obviously, there's going to be more differences, but let's check out the back. This is a pretty thin looking TV too, Jen. It sure is. The first thing we noticed is that it has a big old speaker in the middle again. Uh, the R754 had an Ankyo speaker. The QM8 did not have a speaker there. So that's pretty cool. Give a little bit more bass. I do see that it has that same 600 by 600 millimeter Visa pattern, which is rather large and it's not easy to find a mount with that pattern, but it's still better than the old R754's pattern that was 850 millimeters wide. Those are almost impossible. So better pattern, still heavy TV. You're gonna need a big old mount. Then we have the typical ports that you would have on any TV with the Ethernet, four HDMI ports. Two of them are 4K 120 gaming ports. One can even go to 4K 144 Hertz. And then like with these TCL TVs, the fourth HDMI is now the eARC port. So you can put your soundbar into the fourth one and while still having two different gaming systems. And then you have your antenna, USB, you know, audio, headphones, digital, optical out. And then I think there was something on the side, wasn't there? Would you say there was another USB port, Jen? Yep, right here. So overall, I mean, honestly, it's a really nice looking TV for only $3,000 and we haven't turned it on. So let's check out the remote. Okay, and here we have our remote, which I do like this remote. It fits in your hand nicely. You've got your standard on button, the settings, the directional pad, your volume and channel ups, and then some of your specialty buttons here. So let's turn it on. Before we get to some content, I want to thank ShipStation for sponsoring this video. These unboxings can be tedious, and I wish the TCL had an automated on-screen setup because we've been using ShipStation, which saves us time by automating our shipping and returns through their simple dashboard. They also keep costs down with their industry-leading discounts, which are up to 84% off of UPS and USPS rates. You can automate shipping tasks, print ship labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment. I would have loved to have this when we were shipping TV mounts back in the day one by one. That was so tedious and it took way too much time on a daily basis. If you've ever created hundreds of shipping labels in a single day, there's no doubt you would sign up for ShipStation and never look back. ShipStation easily integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. And if you've been on the fence about trying ShipStation, they're currently offering a free two month trial when you use our code INSTALLER. So spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation and join the over 130,000 companies that have already done the same by going to ShipStation.com slash installer today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash installer for your free 60-day trial today. Okay, Jen, we got the TV ready to go. Thank goodness. Thanks for all the help. You're awesome. Happy to be here. All right, so we had to do a couple setting changes. It's on like low power and it's on the intelligent mode. So we went in, got the intelligent mode removed so it got brighter. And then we took it out of low power mode and put it on smart HDR. Cause that's what you want. You want it to look like HDR. And the motion controls were all jacked up. So we lowered those down to five and five and you guys can mess around with those as you like. But let's get to the Google TV operating system. So here we have it. We've had it on a lot of TVs. So, you know, pretty common to us. I really like Google TV operating system. Got a ton of apps. Got the TCL channels. Yeah, this is really just so easy to use, which I mean, that's what I want. If I'm going to turn on a TV, I don't want to start messing around, not figure out how to use it. So I like the Google. 
Yeah, and it also has all the shows that we watch, you know, it's like right there, even movies that we've watched in order to like evaluate the TV, uh, you know, NFL Live, all that stuff. So let's jump right into some sports. This looks pretty good. Yeah, Jen, this is hard to tell. Is this the $10,000 TV or is this the budget 98? I really can't tell. Yeah, my expert eye sure is having issues telling the difference. <laughs> yeah, the brightness is really good. The colors look really good. And, you know, I'm not seeing like any blooming. I don't think this has dimming zones. So it's one of the direct lit TVs and it looks fantastic so far. I currently have no complaints. Yeah, no complaints so far. And I think every TCL TV we've seen this year has looked good for sports and cable. And I think this is as bright as any of the ones we've saw. Now this is an S series, so it's not a Q LED. This is just an LED, just an LED, you know? Yeah, sorry, I got a little distracted by all the ankle. So what we really need to do now, Jen, is to see if HDR can look as good as this, because sometimes standard cable can get bright, but when you watch like an HDR movie, normally it doesn't look as good, but let's find out. Let's watch some of that avatar way of water and see how that looks. Okay, I think the picture quality of this TV is looking fantastic for HDR. With a TV like this that's direct lit and doesn't have dimming zones, you may not get perfect black levels like an OLED, but I see much better highlights in this and there doesn't seem to be any like suppression of the highlights to try to make areas darker. And what it's resulting in is that this looks fantastic. We're watching a movie in this Avatar Way of Water that's typically pretty hard to see the HDR impact on like a mid-tier QLED TV. And again, this is not a QLED, nor is it got the dimming zones, but I don't know, it looks fantastic to me, especially for a 98 inch size at $3,000 or $4,000. Yeah, I mean, like I wanna say, why would you pay more for this? But I mean, this is really such a great quality product. Hold on, Jen, we gotta let them get to the buying advice here in a minute. Okay, but okay. A little Jump tease, <laughs> a little tease. But yeah, overall, it's really nice. However, it was in the Dolby Vision IQ mode automatically, so I had to take it out of that because it had both of the motion settings maxed out and I couldn't reduce them. And so for me, just turning it into Dolby Vision Bright and then you know, adjusting those motion controls got it to where I like it because it looked way too like soap opera-like. It was really difficult. Well, and if you like it, I like it. Oh, right, right. <laughs> But now that we have it in the Dolby Vision Bright, it looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with this. But before we give our seal of approval, we better run a couple tests. So first test is the dirty screen effect. You wanna watch the hockey guy and see if you notice any darker areas behind him. And this, like many other LED and QLED TVs, you notice some, a little bit of dirtiness around it. Uh, it's not fantastic. You know, it definitely could be better. Can you see some of that, Jen? I like a good dirty hockey guy. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about, but the dirty screen on this is not fantastic. However, we've done TVs, even 8K TVs from other brands that were three or four times as expensive as this, and they have similarly bad dirty screen results. So I'm not necessarily just saying, you know, give TCL a pass on this. I think it's in the middle, and I think some people might say it's a little bit dirty. Some people might say, hey, it's fine, you know. Depends on your level of dirtiness. But I've seen better, and I've seen worse, and I've seen worse on more expensive TVs. So I think we just move on. And then another test we normally do is the local dimming test to see how well you can have the screen be black in one area and white in another area. And you know what, Jen? It's kind of irrelevant because there are no local dimming zones on this TV, meaning that it's probably not gonna get perfectly black in these areas like some of the other TVs and OLED or a really good full array local dimming TV. However, there are no blooming areas. So really, it's just pretty uniform. It looks 90% as good as most other TVs, but it doesn't have any of those side effects of having your widescreen bars light up during movies. So I actually like this, and I, I think it's a big win for the S5. Yeah, so it's Be The Installer approved. Let's hit the next test. The last test is the anti-reflective capabilities. Uh, again, this one, it's not as good as the QM8. It's a little bit worse. Uh, it's a little bit more matte-like than the very glossy QM8. But overall, it's about as good as the R754 from last year. I don't see a ton of reflections. And again, I think this TV is bright enough to combat that. So I think it's fine in that respect too. And I think we just go on to some buying advice for these people. Let's do it. Okay, Jen, very important for the people. Do we like this TV or do we not like this TV? I think this is a great TV. I'm pretty impressed, to be honest, like considering the price and everything. Yeah, we have some other TVs that I would consider budget in the house that are edge lit or they're backlit, but they don't have dimming zones and all that. And typically they're not this good. So, you know, this is really fantastic at 98 inch. It's gonna make it very difficult for people 
to not buy this and go and buy more expensive TVs because TCL has three 98 inch TVs that are the least expensive 98 inch TVs in the US. So they have this, the S5 for $4,000 right now. They have the R754, which is also $4,000, but that doesn't have the backlit remote or it doesn't have the game bar currently, so. Yeah, why would you buy last year's model when it's the same price and you get all this extra on this one? Yeah, I mean, technically that one's a QLED and it has the local dimming zones, but for me, I honestly think this TV is as good as that TV from last year. I'm very impressed with this. And then you have the QM8, which you know was $10,000, now it's like $7,000, and it is brighter, it does have the local dimming zones, but honestly, I still think that for the price point, this S5 is fantastic, like look at that, you see the brightness? It's on us, yeah. we're all yeah. red because of how bright this TV is in the background. So I'm really impressed with this, I think it's a winner. I think a ton of people are gonna buy this to watch sporting events and all that. I do think the HDR is really good too. I mean, we've seen the Sony X90L, and again, maybe that is better than this one. I'm not gonna say it's not better, but it's $10,000, so how much better is it? They both have the Google operating systems. So I'm just saying, S5, big win in my book. I'm excited to put it up against the QM8 and for other people to review this and see if you guys think that all the versions of this are great. And also on any of the TCL TVs, you can get up to $200 off the NFL ticket, which that's something that's really important for us. We're not sponsored by them in this, but you know, that's what we like to watch. So if you're into football, it's definitely worth a look. And if you're still confused about which TV to buy, go ahead and take a look at our TV quiz. It'll ask you questions like what kind of content you like to watch, what are your room conditions, and it'll help you decide what's gonna be the best option for you. Check the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the comparison of the S5 versus the QM8, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.